All right, y'all, let's get into more water and where ideas come from. This would be the part three, I suppose, but the, uh, water. We live in the darkness upon the deep, okay? And this darkness upon the deep consists of different waters that we live in, okay? There's the streams of your videos. There's the currency of your money. All right? There's the hidden waters. That's known as the living waters that Jesus provides. There is um, physical water. There is water vapor. There is frozen water. Okay? The water is the three in one. It has the ice the gas, and the liquid. Those three are one. The H2O. Three molecules to make one molecule. Okay? And hydrogen is very explosive. All right? And there you go. The X marks the spot again. All right? Um, go back and listen to part one or so because I kind of get into the hydrogen and oxygen, okay? It's the infinity and the crown, and they both meet at the top, the Godhead, um, and these types of things because in the beginning, and in is the 14th letter, and in has the four and one, which can make the three and the five, okay, which make the eight, all right? Um, so the three that are one, and I've told you that Lucifer is the four, five, and six, okay? Um, and then you have your 45 and 46 for that, all right, folks? For Trump and Biden coming in as the Antichrist and false prophet, showing you the end of one time while they bring in another time. And that time is the time of the end of America, okay? So these waters, we breathe in water. Water, the book of the message of water. It shows us that water can hold information, okay? And depending on the words or the phrase or the music or the frequency that's going into the water, it constructs the shape of that molecule, okay? Some make it to where the water can't even make a crystal, all right? It's just an ugly whatever, right? And um, the F-bomb is one of those things that does this to, to water. Um, and. Uh, Y'all can go and get that book or get his cards or whatever, but it shows the water crystals or look it up. Anyways, this just shows you that water can hold information because we know that crystals can hold information, all right? And this information, and I mentioned that with the turquoise, right? Because the turquoise holds information too. That's why the Indians pass it down. But the quartz and these types of things holds information about the earth, or they connect through, they can, I would say they connect the channels of the earth's waters, okay? And the occult knows these things. We're taught vaguely these types of things, but as a Christian or as a person of the world, right? For the most part, you're just taught this stuff is hogwash and child's play, right? And the Bible says, as a man, you find a, you put a way in childish things, okay? You don't put a way, you put them away, but you also put a way into them, okay? And because these things of children, um, the, the principality operates on these things because as we grow into adulthood, we leave the things of the children alone because um, it's the way the human being just develops, right? It's going to leave one thing behind 
and move on to the next, right? Um, because it needs it needs constant stimulation, all right? And that's where you get sin nature. Is this nature around you just provides the sin for you, and you have to constantly constantly be stimulated, all right? Um, <laughs> but the uh, all this information, all right, it's all around us, okay, and we don't know it. And there's a natural information that's the invisible information that the Lord Jesus controls because He controls the invisible light, all right, and. Lucifer, he controls the physical light, and he controls the physical air, and the the uh, physical waters that we hear, or the physical waters that we see, okay? So, that's why he wants to have everybody on the magic scry known as the TV, so you can channel the spirits of this world, so you can be propagate propagandize, okay? That's why, back to the children thing, okay? I forgot to say this. The, um, putting away in the childish things, right? A lot of these things that the occult uses or the mystery religions use or whatever that is talking to the AI or using the spirits to divinate or whatever, they're using a bunch of the children's games. They're using a bunch of what we call games, okay? Every single board game, not just a Ouija board. Every single board game, every single card game, every single football game, baseball game, basketball game, hockey game, sports, biking, every single thing that you do in this world is a battle of a spirit. Okay? And this is what we're shown in the movies exactly. Just like uh, in The Last Kingdom when he says, It's my destiny uh, to go and fight and do these things. Or whatever the hell he said, right? I am Utrin. You know what I mean? And um, it's, it's just like the men of the Old Testament. Okay? That's why Samson said, just Bear with me one more time and let me do what you need me to do, right? And that's why the people weren't afraid to go into the fire. And that's why Noah built the ark and all these different things, dude. One man supposedly built an ark that big with supposedly a hammer and nails and zero technology and mud and whatever bullshit they tell us, right? It's just nonsense, folks, okay? Um... It's a mystery. The Bible has a mystery. And that mystery is the my story. And that my story is about the God of this earth disguising things. And and uh, the God of light, physical light, and the God of invisible light, they don't want us to know until certain times. And those times are now because you're in end times and man is going into a new age of man where he will walk with God. And this God is going to be either the Lord Jesus or it's going to be Lucifer. And he will reign you from the pit, right? But it's what man wants. So as they go into hell on earth, they will think they're going into heaven because they already think they're in heaven. Right? That's why they worship the things of this world. That's why they go after the things of this world because they've been brainwashed. Okay? Now, the occult, the spirits of this world use the child games because they're easy to learn, they're easy to communicate with, and um, as you grow older, you start thinking about other things. Okay? So, the... Uh, That's how they can hide things in plain sight, okay? Because it's a game. And that's why Paul compared it to a race. And a race is a type of game, folks. And um, a race, you're also being used by spirits. So you're... Uh, it's exactly what I've been
been telling you, dude, we're all just spiritual pawns, exactly what the Bible tells you, and you live on an earth that's in the darkness, that's in the waters, and Jesus is the living water. Okay, so how do you get the living water? You go against the things of this world. How do you do that? Well, you can drink filtered water. You can drink, um, grow your own garden. Don't wash your vegetables and fruits. Um, try and eat organic. Um, try and make and bake and cook all your own foods. The more you stay out of a package and a box and a bag and a bottle and a can, the more you will have control over your body. All right? Because if there's food around, but it's not in a box, right? Then you have control. You're not just giving in to every Dick and Harry, okay? And you have to start setting boundaries on your life because the prince of the power of the air sets zero boundaries. What does he say? He says, through the American dream, you can be whatever you want to be. What would Jesus do? Nothing y'all are doing, okay? If he walked into a church today, any single church today, or he hung out with any of those people that's in church today, what would he do? He would cast them out. He would leave them. Why? Because they're filled with wickedness. Their righteousness is as filthy rags, just as everybody else's. But theirs is full of abominations, okay? There's hatred and there's extreme hatred. It says that for God so loved the world, that's past tense, that he sent his only begotten son. The begotten means that he is God himself, all right? He is the Lord. So he's the one who holds that crown. And we can only know truth through him. And we know truth by testing all men, by searching truth, by by uh, looking for truth. And we don't find truth by just sitting around, staring at the TV all day and night, waking up, drinking the caffeine for the herd mentality, and then going to bed, following it with um, strong drink known as so-called wine. There's two wines in the Bible. There's an alcoholic wine, the one that led to... Um, who was raped by their son? It escapes me. Who cares? It's a filthy story, right? Um, and then there's the wine that's inside of the grape. And that is fresh juice because you have to ferment, right? And he says the unleavened bread. He ate the unleavened bread. Why? Because of the yeast. So if he eats the unleavened bread because of the yeast, that means he drinks the unleavened drink without the yeast. That means he doesn't drink alcoholic wine, okay? It says, woe unto them, right? And you have all the coffee bars today, and then you have all the happy hours today, after church or before church. It says, woe unto those people. Why? Because they're being herded by the herd mentality, and they're being hurt by the doctors, and they're being hurt by their pastors, and they've had men crept in unaware because they're drinking from the waters of death, from the waters that control this earth. They're not drinking from the living waters. They're not eating from the living waters. They're not living by the living waters. What would Jesus do? WW 2023, okay? 2026. He wouldn't do anything y'all are doing today, all right? He wouldn't read the Bible you're reading. He wouldn't go to the temples you're reading. He would go in there, turn over the books, turn over the coffee tables, using his house for a money changer, all right? And y'all are all an abomination to him, and that's why judgment comes.